I'm Rachel Rose. I'm an R&D supervisor at Industrial Light and Magic. At a place like ILM, research and development, or R&D, is the group that is responsible for creating tools that our artists use to bring amazing images to the big screen. Many people are very surprised that we use code so much in the work that gets done on a day-to-day -day basis. If you were to just watch a movie, but you see your images and you're not seeing the code that sits behind it. As an industry, we rely on a lot of different applications. So we might do lighting in one tool and animation in another tool or digital modeling in another tool. But when you're done, you need to bring it all together. Different studios started open sourcing because they saw the value that it would bring to their own organization by having other places and other applications that were using those standards so that we would be able to exchange data. The ASWF is a foundation that was put together so that we could make both the quality and quantity of open source contributions better for our industry. It's a home for many of the most well-used open source projects within the industry. And by having open source projects, it makes it a lot easier for us to be able to share and collaborate. It has a huge impact on what we're able to do within the open source community. One of the pieces of technology that I work pretty heavily on at ILM is StageCraft, which is a tool for doing virtual production on very large LED stages. The great thing about that technology is that we were able to pull a lot of it together very quickly, and a large part of that was the foundation. We also really want to bring together our community, and that's one thing that I think has been a overwhelming success. Our ASWF meetings have a representative from many of the biggest companies in visual effects and animation, and we're able to all sit in a room and collaborate on ideas that will benefit all of us. We have a lot of very powerful member companies. So with the might that those companies can bring, there is a chance of actually being able to affect diversity at some level. Maybe it's being able to increase diversity within our own organization, but it can also be to help inform and educate younger individuals who may not even know that this is a choice for their future career. You know, when I was a kid, I always loved Star Wars and Indiana Jones and all of the films that ILM is so well known for. And I guess I never realized that this was something that I could do. And I often find there are a lot of people that are very interested in that mix of art and science. There are careers out there that mix that art and science very heavily and you have the ability to use your scientific skills in a way that will affect the art. A really important aspect of what we're doing in open source is bringing together a large community who can contribute a large number of ideas. So we want those ideas to be diverse and that comes from a diverse set of individuals. We can be more innovative because we have a foundation that we can trust and we're putting work into it. We're sharing that work across a larger number of people. It actually was a dream job to work on The Mandalorian, and it's one of those opportunities that you don't get very often to be doing really forward-thinking technology that you see a very dramatic effect of how it changes the industry in a short period of time. We knew in the foundation that we had within the industry, including the Open Source Foundation, was very key to making it successful.